Hello everybody, this is Abraham with No Sharp Computer Services. Today I'd like to show you an interesting problem with a MacBook or MacBook Pro that might happen if you spill a little bit of liquid on a touchpad. This touchpad is not made extremely well. In other words, it's not sealed on the sides and if the droplet gets into the this area you could experience some weird problems and the problems that you would see are you know your screen is going to be moving like this uh, it could be starting things that you didn't want it's basically the computer becomes unusable um, this particular one I fixed it first and then I thought of recording it to show the world how it's done but in any case this is what it's doing you know you would experience something like this you know it would be switching things and going crazy um, there is an easy way to fix it you do not have to replace the touchpad so let me turn off the computer So this computer is taken apart for the most part. Just carefully get it up. All right. So we're going to remove the touchpad. Uh, for that, we're going to need a screwdriver. So just remove these four screws. One, two, three, four. I'll show you up close. So you remove those and these. You do not touch the black screws. You remove the silver screws. Okay. All right. Then we'll lift this. Uh, there is tape under here, so be careful. Um, I would use some plastic something to get in there. I've removed the tape on this one, so sorry it's going to be faster so just remove that and take the touchpad out that's all we need for this repair Move the Mac aside all right so what we're going to do and this is extremely easy anyone can do it is we're going to need a bag just a regular sandwich bag we're gonna need a 91 percent alcohol and uh, what we're gonna do is the bag that I've used is we're going to put touch pad Oops. just like that in your bag Seal it just like that, and you can let it sit. Don't let it sit too long, it will destroy the glue that holds this whole thing together. Alcohol is fairly, um, I mean, it could be potent. Just run it around if you want to, it's not necessary. Uh, you can use a little brush and just run around the edges. Um, so what this does is basically liquefies any particles that are um, causing this, uh, or I should say conductive particles that are causing this touchpad to think that you're pressing on it. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of electronics. Well, it's not really electronics. There are sensors that uh, think that you're pushing, and there's really nothing that you're pushing. And the computer thinks, well, yes, you are, and I'm going to execute the commands. But this is all you do. You just put some alcohol, put it on touchpad, run it just like this, let it sit maybe 10 minutes, no more than that. Okay. Once you're done... Open 
it up. Uh, just a sec. Another tool you need is a paper towel. So, lay your paper towel. Lay your touch pad on it. You can actually reuse the alcohol. You can just put it back in a bottle. But it's so cheap. All right. So dry it. Make sure to just kind of run around the edges. And just let it sit and dry for maybe an hour or so. Now, alcohol is not conductive. So, alcohol is really good for cleaning contacts because alcohol by itself does not conduct electricity. But it breaks down most everything that contains water, water-based. So, your Coke, your juice, your milk. Uh, it is water-based uh, and alcohol will take care of it. Now, let's see, there you can see the residue of whatever was spilled in there, got dried up and uh, it's crusty right now. Come on, there it is. So, for this job, we can use, come on, the same alcohol and oops come on this camera doesn't want to stay in one place all right and one of these guys q tip so we can actually use the alcohol that's in our bag. Just put it on a Q-tip, just like that. And clean it. You might want to wet it first. Um, that will kind of start the process of breaking down whatever it's made from the breaking down dirt this is stubborn something gooey Ew. icky wicky so use some more be liberal you will not damage your computer with alcohol. Well, you'll damage the glue if you soak it too long. But you will not damage the computer by cleaning it with alcohol. I'm not talking about external plastic parts. Boy, this stuff is really on there. So, we'll take out the big guns same bag nothing can stand to toothbrush it is one of the most useful tools when it comes to cleaning small things like this indispensable. Um, if your teeth are getting a workout of you know, good cleaning, that means you should have a lot of toothbrushes. And I do. My teeth are clean, my computers are clean, I use it to clean things in the car. I love toothbrushes. There it is. All done. So now we can use our paper towel to just wipe off all this 
extra alcohol, and dirt, garbage, and uh, so alcohol evaporates fairly quickly, but I will give this computer maybe an hour or so just to sit around and evaporate, and uh, it will be done. That's all you need. So you need a Q-tip, alcohol, plastic bag, and a screwdriver to fix this problem. You do not need any money. Most of these items are available most likely in your home. There it is. That's the culprit. You can see if it's visible. There is a drop on this key right here. Of the stuff that went in there it causes this issue. Thank you for watching.